Hey there folks, it's time for episode 4 of Let's Play Dune, where we just returned to the palace and we're about to find out what terrible thing had happened. Everything looks fine. Everything's going okay. Cool. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Y'all look fine! What's the problem? Uh, have you seen the messages in the communication room? No. Okay, excellent. Why is Leto very upset? I don't know. Fine, I'll go look at the message. Yes, it is an impressive palace. But I meant to click on the message. Be new messages. Be a different message. <gasps> a message from the Baron, Baron Vladimir Herkonen! Oh no! I bet he wants to be friends. He wants to make up for all the bad stuff that's gone on between us. Oh no! I have devastated a sheet siege to show you what will happen to you. Do you know my plan and I intend to keep it that way? Oh no! Which siege? I hope it wasn't one of the nice ones. Super? Oh. That's not good. Stilgar, you can't be happy about that. Yes, the screens are useful. That's a relevant comment. Uh, okay. Is this where the Duke decides to go and get himself killed? This crime cannot go unpunished. A punitive expedition with my personal guard. I'm sure Thufar Havoc will agree to this. He won't. You'll see it's a very silly idea. Which is correct. I'm sure Thufar will say that's a very silly idea. Don't do that. Won't you Thufar? Oops, wrong one. Thufar? The Duke is losing his temper. It's still too early to attack their opponents from the front. More of our- wait, a new message! Now what? Oh, Sting! Or Phaedra the Harkonnen. Does he look quite like Sting? That looks quite a lot like Sting. Uh, these friends of yours, they're just a bunch of punks. <laughs> oh, he's a bit judgy. But punks, really? That's funny. That's a bit of an odd word to choose. Uh, he is really insane. Watch out, he may be very dangerous. Okay, now if we have to attack, it would be better in Stilgar's nature area. Urgs and the Harkonnens there are, are very far from the Arakin Palace. The Harkonnen weak spot is there. Go and tell the Duke he may listen to you. I don't think he's gonna. I think he's gonna go for the suicide option. So for Hallett is over prudent. You just said that he'd totally agree with you five seconds ago. I'll never run away from these Harkonnen brutes. Jeez. It's no use insisting. I've made up my mind. I'm going to leave as soon as my guard's ready. I've got to stay there while you go and get yourself killed. Brilliant. Oh. Well, I think that's a terrible plan. Nothing could be done to prevent his decision. Stop worrying. Just continue on. Alright. Well, I think it's a terrible idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we should go and, like, worry about... Duncan, you got anything to say about this situation? He won't return. Uh, worm attacks. The worms arrive suddenly. Attack the harvesters. You have to get some ornies. Oh, there are villages. There are smugglers. Where are the smugglers? Fremen live in sieges. The villages are made by immigrants. Fremen don't usually go to villages. We don't even know the locations very well. Then who does? I've never been a village. I remember a tale about the village in the fish's mouth. Ah. Then that's how we can find one. We go to the big fish's mouth. Okay, uh... Which seems very sensible. Can we contact these guys? They can't be doing very much. Okay, uh, should move them to somewhere that's got better spice density thing. There's no one there, you should go there. Okay, uh, village... Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, I'm trying to go to the fish's mouth, so to do that I need to get to the other map in order to click in that direction. Okay, so if that's the fish, that's its mouth, so we'll go in that direction. We should be able to get to a village, and if we get to a village we should be able to buy some stuff. 
And I remember when I used to play this that you would buy some stuff in the village and then I couldn't actually get the Fremen to get it. But I have looked this up on the internet and the way to get the stuff is to get the Fremen to go and search for equipment and then they'll go to the village and pick up stuff you have bought. So I learned something, which is good. Um, so we're taking a long trip to the village. That sounds a little bit ominous. I suspect by the time we get there, have a little chat with the smugglers and then send some Fremen to pick up whatever we buy, if we buy something, maybe an ornithopter or two. Um, that Jukalito will unfortunately no longer be with us. Because uh, that's what happens. Okay, we're almost at Fish's mouth. What? So hopefully someone will spot something any moment now. That'd be very good. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have to turn back. Oh, there we are! A village there on the left. Brilliant. Ooh. Yep, yeah, the whole village is just this one guy. Smuggler dude. Uh, excellent. I have an orny for trade. What is it? Uh, okay. Will you cut it down anymore? Uh, excellent, we've knocked off quite a lot. Oh no! Oh, I wanted that Orny. Can I, can we go back to the Orny? I, I want to go back to the Orny, I don't want to buy a Spice Harvester. Or it will buy an Orny for fifteen thirty. Okay, right, we've bought an Orny, which is great. Uh, so we send a troop to hopefully go and pick it up. So they need an Orny. Going to oh, we can't talk to them. That's annoying. Oh well, we'll just fly there and tell them to go pick up the Orny that we very kindly bought for them. Uh oh, I think this is the news that Leto is dead. No. Oh my goodness, the Harkonnens are attacking! Not my siege! Oh shoot! Um, that's not good. Okay, um, right. First thing, look at the map. Okay, oh no, my Fremen has been captured! Uh, these guys here. Oh, see, so they're off to pick up the Orny, which is good. I feel like I need to find more troops that are want to fight or learn how to fight. Okay, have you got any, like, oh, I can give you Christ knives. Okay, and I want to move you to where Gurney is, which I think is that one. Yeah, it is that one. Okay. Um, I guess I better take an ornithopter to the palace and I don't know. Is the duke gone or not? I'm tired of all these travels with you, Paul. I want to go back to my place to Onotamin. Okay. It's all right. Okay, just as soon as we've had a little chat with. Okay, I get it. Okay, stay here. Oh, okay. Has the duke gone? Oh no. Okay, I get it. I, I get the strongly worded hint. Okay, two on a uh, 
There we go. That one. See, I can help. Okay. Paul, I was waiting until Hara wasn't with us. I have something to tell you. I'd like you to meet somebody. I think it's important for you. I want us to go to Oxton to bar west of the village we found. I've indicated it on your map. Okay. Uh, west. Oh, that's quite far west. Okay, well, let's get there. Ooh, ornithopter. Harvesters. Nama. Ah, it's Chani. Oh god, this is some really annoying you don't want the two women in your party at the same time type thing. Jealousy type nonsense that's been added in, which isn't in the novel. I've heard about you, Paul Atreides, your respect for our people, blah blah blah. Okay. I was born here and I love this planet. Have you seen Desert Night? Okay. Oh. Okay, I suppose... She better come with us. Oh god. Have you- <laughs> I... No! I don't understand why Hara had to leave. I don't understand why there can't be two women in the party at the same time. Still Gar. I know there are no foreign troops here. Someone was here at one time, they left some equipment. Did you notice the Ornies? I did notice the Ornies. Well, so why is Chani here alone? Um... Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's get away from the harvester. <laughs> we can't, we're, not, we're not going to have the romantic scene until we're away from the harvester. Okay, here we are. It's at night. Still, girl, still with us. You know that still, girl, still here, right? <laughs> okay, that was about at least 30 seconds after um, we met. That isn't creepy at all. I'm glad you stuck around for that, Fremen. Um, Stilgar. Okay, that was, that was just weirdly done. We can go to the teacher. I don't want to know the deep side. That's useful. Silgar, I know there's no Fremen strips here. I did notice the Ornies. Mostly, I want to see um, is Leto dead yet? Oh, there's ones in the deep south. Let's head towards them then. Go there, flying an Orny. Okay, skip to destination. A Fremen! Hello, Fremen. We saw you come from the Rashich. Okay. Uh, give orders to troop! Uh, ask for more info. Any good equipment here? Oh, ooh, laser guns. And I would like to move you to where the rest of my soldier dudes are, which is up here. And I would like to take an ornithopter and go to this seat, Sabanya Harg. And is there anyone there? There is. Hello, Fremen. We've heard of you. Yay! I'd like to give orders to the troop. Uh, 
I'd like you to be soldiers. Uh, modify equipment. Oh, we do have a harvester of that, but let's move the troop to there, because I think there was a cry snipe there. Wait, have I been to those two that are north there? Oh, a vision. Does this poor Leto has died in his silly, silly attack that everyone said was a bad idea? Yep. Oh dear. Oh well. I get to be Duke now. And obviously I will head back to the palace just as soon as I have... Oh wait, I have, vis I have visited those ones. Okay, I guess I should go back then. Whee! Off we go. Skip destination. Oh. The Duke is dead. He was killed by the Harkonnens. Therefore we'll give you all the details. Oh, and what did we all say? We all said didn't go, but he wouldn't listen. Um, well, yeah, but also the Duke was an idiot who attacked in a very stupid way that everyone said don't do that. And then he did it anyway. So whose fault is it really? Uh, you must surely be able to attack some remote Harkonnen fortresses by now. So be very careful. Oh, I hate the bit where we have to start attacking because if you lose the attack, you lose all your Fremen troops. Um, as far as I know, the Duke and Asgard didn't have much of a chance to fight. The transportation armies were spotted by the Harkonnen troops to chop down Jolly. Um, we have to find some other means of transportation if we want to beat these Harkonnens. I wonder how the Fremen have done it in the past. Well, so far, I'd like to let you know that when I go out into the desert, I have a blacked out option to call a worm. Um, but I've got no way to convey that information to you via the game at the moment. Uh, well, you can see you found another Fremen girl. That's nice. Um, I'm sure she'll help you get a better knowledge of stuff. We can't let these Harkonnens attack our sieges. We have to show them what we can do to their fortresses. Okay, so we have to start attacking stuff. Ah, uh, the bit of the game that makes me nervous. Okay. Duncan, have you got something consoling words? <laughs> My father's just died, but that's what you the first thing you want to tell me is about the spice stockpiles. Thank you, Duncan. Uh you're not sure, ask Stilgar. Stilgar! Let's go to another room. I have something to tell you. Okay? Is this corridor okay? Pull! For you worms mean danger. As a matter of fact, they do attack harvesters and men sometimes, but as incredible as it may sound to you, Fremen use worms to travel in the desert. I guess you should be able to ride a worm ball. Let's go ahead to the desert. Yeah, let's go catch a worm. Okay. Here we are in the desert and call a worm. Oh, so where would we like to go with our amazing worm riding capabilities? Uh, let's go see how Gurney's getting on. That wasn't good news one, was it? Oh, here we go. Wow. And Olic! Oh, We're on the back of a giant worm. Right through the desert. Oh, we're having a vision. Ah, the prospectors are finished, which is handy because we are uh, fine prospectors. Surely we can contact them. What? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Oh, wait. I should probably say, like, Stilgar, aren't you impressed with my ability to call a worm? Ah, Paul, you have now perfected the writing of the worm. You know everything about the- almost everything about the Fremen. Uh, right. Why don't you tell Thufu how about the worm? Because... Okay, that's a good idea. I suppose. Okay, call a worm and I wanted to talk to those prospectors first. The Ericsson Timon where Bernie is. I've forgotten. Oh, we have to go through this little graphic. Hey, it's a worm. Okay, we'll just pop inside. How are we getting along, Garney? Uh, we can send spies to discover her corner fortresses. After locating one, they can tell us how many troops there are, and then we can move our troops to each fortress and attack it. Okay, sure, that'll be fine. I can absolutely do that. Nothing bad will happen to any of us. Um, how are we doing? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back to the palace to tell uh, Fufurhawa that we found out how the Fremen move around the planet. 
which I'm sure he will be very excited about. Skip to destination. You're not Sufer. Where's Sufer? Sufer! Hello! Guess what we found out? Uh, incredible! Yay! Okay, that could be a perfect way to go to the Harkonnen Fortresses. That's an advantage for sure, but I've been thinking. We still lack something. Something that would turn the balance. Something that the Harkonnens can't imagine, even in the most pessimistic plans. Do ask me what? I don't know. I think it's Liet Kynes. You want us to find out that people are growing like vegetables on the planet. Uh, maybe you could find it. My feeling is the answer is here, in this very place. Uh, anything to contribute, team? Nope. Right. Well, whatever the secret is that Thufur just knows is hidden somewhere around where we are, we'll have to wait till next time. That was episode four of Let's Play Dune. Please do leave a comment or a thumbs up if you enjoyed the vid, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. See you later, folks.